Welcome back guys to North Carolina Sports Guys channel. This is Wayne Hunt and we are here for a little bit of a unique rip. Uh, today we're going to do some retail rips, but we're going to have a little bit of a uh, blasters war, I guess, if you will. Um, we've got a couple new retail products that uh, I able to, was able to find this week. Absolute Baseball Blaster and a Stadium Club blaster got a couple other things that uh, as you can see i've seen i found out in the wild this week but here on the channel today we are going to rip these two products and i'm going to give you guys an opportunity to take a look at them and see if you can decide which product you like best and which product potentially provides us the biggest hits um at least out of these two blaster boxes uh so i think we'll start with the 2021 Absolute, we'll set the uh, Stadium Club aside. Uh, for 2021 Absolute uh, Baseball, uh, you can see there's eight cards per pack, five per box. I'm no brain surgeon, uh, but that tells me there's gonna be approximately 40 cards in this box. And that's gonna include one blaster exclusive auto or mem card per box on average. So uh, looking forward to seeing what we uh, may be able to come up here with, with this um, 2021 blaster. Uh, they have the green parallel uh, inserts. Those are the, um, I guess the blaster exclusives, if you will, for 2021. Uh, I think uh, you potentially also uh, could snag, I think maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a black um, is one of the, uh, uh, the other parallels. Um, and uh, I think that's about it as far as the, um, the parallels uh, for, the, for the base set. I'm not talking about the inserts, just the uh, base set. I think uh, uh, there are some hobby only um, exclusives, but I think you've got uh, the black and maybe the green. Uh, and I think that's... Uh, I think that might be it as far as the uh, um, the base is concerned. Um, uh, actually, there might be maybe a red, uh, the red full, but I think maybe the red this year might be numbered. But uh, but we'll we'll take a look, uh, see what we can uh, come up with. So let's get to ripping. See uh, what this 2021 absolute looks like. To, we can get into this box instead of just flipping around. So, right, we'll set that box aside, and as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five packs there. And trying to see if I can tail. Feels like one may be a little thicker than the other. I'm not sure. Those two right there both kind of feel. So let's just put those to the back. Um, they both feel like they might be potentially just a little bit thicker than the other. So, so we'll see uh, if we're right about that. And then let's uh, let's get to ripping and see uh, what we can come up with uh, with this 2021 absolute baseball i know this so uh, they've made a uh, made these packs uh more difficult to get in so let's see what we can come up with i didn't open i opened up quite a bit of 2020 absolute football i didn't open up any of the 2021 or 2020 absolute baseball last year so um first one out uh ed roush and there's aaron judge Mookie Betts, I saw a little green uh, hiding in there somewhere. So, you Darvish, and then there is the green. That's uh, one of our green parallels. Cattell Marte, Diamondbacks. Oh man, now that's a nice looking card. Uh, so that's a insert. That is the rookie class insert. K 
Casey Mize, and that one is also a parallel. That's the green parallel Casey Mize rookie card. So, so far, um, definitely the, the best card, but man, we're only four cards into it and already got a uh, pretty solid rookie card there uh, for Mr. Casey Mize, the rookie class insert and the green fall parallel. Um, so the next one up is the icons. Um, now this is an insert that only has 15 players, uh, cards of 15 different folks. Um, and they are absolute says they're supposed to be folks who were game changers in the sport of baseball. Uh, this is the first one and this is Justin Verlander in his Astros uniform. <clears throat> and then there's Lou Bob, another um, insert, the Extreme Team Lou Bob. Nice, nice card. So out of that pack, we ended up with uh, four base cards. We had, actually had five base cards. One of those was a green full parallel and then we had three different insert cards, the Extreme Team insert, the Icons insert, and then of course the Ricky Class insert with Casey Mize and the Green Fall. So uh, not a bad uh, uh, first pack, uh, especially from a name perspective. You got a Lou Bob, you got a Justin Verlander, and you got a Casey Mize uh, rookie card. So certainly uh, uh, if you're into name dropping, uh, that's not a bad uh, initial pack out of that blaster. So let's we'll see what pack number two brings for us. Uh, so we've got Salvador Perez. Speaking of icons, how about, uh, how about Cal Ripken? Zach Gallen. Isaiah Kiner Balafa, Texas. Another green ball. This is uh, of Carlos Correa. Another insert, statistically speaking insert. And then this is another one that is the green full. Tim Anderson. Another insert, this one, the Yelly, statistically speaking. You can see the, uh, see the difference in the, what's the base? And then the green full. And then our last card of that box is going to be Tony Lazari, New York, the Unsung Heroes insert. Hmm. Inter interesting uh, uh, card. Um, what about that? In his final game for the New York Yankees, he batted behind Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth. Wow, very cool. All right, so pack number three. Well, we'll have to get a little mechanical assistance though on that one right there to get into that pack. So Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, I'll talk about a future Hall of Famer. Uh, Aaron Nola, Phillies ace. Ken Boyer, Cardinals. Astros Kyle Tucker, another green full insert, this time of Charlie Blackman. Then there is another rookie class, um, Braylon Marquez. That is also the green, the green full. Another icons card. This one this time of Chris Bryant. And then how about the rookie class, Nick Madrigal. Um, that's this one is not the parallel, um, and maybe uh, it's not necessarily an insert. Maybe all of the rookie cards. Instead of having just a traditional rookie card logo, maybe they all are identified as rookie class. 
Um, so that's uh, uh, evidently what that is. Uh, I guess there are no rookies in the base 100 card set. I guess they have their own um, set. It's kind of like a, kind of similar to maybe like a rated rookies, rated rookies uh, set. So I'm down to two, two more packs here in this first um, blaster of 2021 for uh, Absolute. And then we'll get into our 2021 Stadium Club as we continue our blaster war. Um, so there's the Justin Verlander. What about the season this guy is having? Shohei Atani. Uh, just an, really, uh, truly an unprecedented season. Uh, Candelario uh, from Detroit. Billy Martin. Wow. Talk about a throwback. And then, of course, there's the, uh, the Soto, Mr. Juan Soto in the green fall. Looks like we've got another. So this is the, uh, the power insert. Read up a little bit about that. that uh, features some of the bigger, most prolific power hitters in Major League Baseball history. This time, Mr. Harmon Kilbrew. And again, this one also is the green fall. Um, you can see, uh, uh, it's not the power insert, but again, you can see the difference in the green fall and then the traditional. Got another rookie there, this time Christian Pache. And then how about that? Um, the prospects insert, this one of Spencer Torkelson. So the torque insert. So this is our last pack. Uh, so we know we can expect uh, or should expect to see either a auto card or a mem card come out of this pack. So let's see if, if in fact, Absolute is true to their word. Let's see what Panini was able to, to do here. And it does feel like this pack is a little thicker. So my guess is we got a mem card hiding in here somewhere. Um, so there's the uh, Acuna. Brandon Woodruff, JD Martinez. And I think this next card is going to be our. Uh, I think it's going to be our mem. So let's see what. Let's let's flip this around, and let's see. Let's see if we can do a little bit of. Finag finagling without uh, giving away what we're gonna have. Uh, won't appear to be doing that very well, but here we go. Um, so we've got the green full beeps. How about the unsung heroes? Uh, we saw that uh, earlier. Uh, we saw the uh, unsung heroes card uh, in the base. Um, now we've got the Paul Goldschmidt in the green fall. Let's see what it says about Goldie. Nice. So lots of uh, lots of inserts and parallels uh, uh, here. Um, there's another power. This one of Jose Abreu. And then there's another rookie. This is going to be. Dalton Varsho. And now here we are with our, I'm assuming it's gonna be our mem card, or we can see it's gonna be Sam Huff. So let's see what we've got here. Yep, so this is the Rookie Threads, Sam Huff. It does have the, uh, the RC logo. This one is a um, materials card or relic card, Rookie Threads. So. Um, we're going to stick that bad boy up right there. So that's what, uh, we look like. Uh, we had three cards worthy of, uh, of the podium, so to speak here for that blaster of 2021 absolute, uh, probably the best looking card there is that rookie threads, Sam Huff relic card. Um, I personally also like the Casey Mize. 
uh, green full rookie class insert. So um, let's see if our stadium club uh, can meet or beat. And then when you guys, uh, after you've had a chance to watch this video, um, if you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed, how about passing it along? Uh, but most importantly, uh, how about commenting at the end of the video and give me your thoughts on if you like the 2021 Absolute or the 2021 Stadium Club. Um, now, the Stadium Club is going to come with, um, I believe it's going to be eight packs. So there's four. There's eight packs. Uh, that is correct. Um, there's also going to be one I think it's like a box topper card. There it is right there. We'll pull it out and set it to the side here. Um, so you see 41 total cards includes one exclusive master photo base variation card. I know for uh, 2021 Stadium Club, um, they are, there are some uh, CMPD codes. Uh, the base is 244. The chrome is 280, the photo variation is 289. I'm assuming that's what they're referencing here, the master photo base variation card. And then there's 291, which is the rookie design, and then 545, which is the design variation. So after we take a look at these cards, we'll look and see what the variations are or if we were lucky enough to get uh, any variations. Um, and we'll start with this initial, this is the master photo. This one is of Alex Bregman. Um, it's pretty cool looking little card. Um, if you've seen uh, Dwight Clark, Clark Sports Cards, he's done a preview video of Stadium Club uh, Baseball. Um, I agree with what he says in his video, which is, I would like this a lot better if it were just a, a regular card. I, I've never been a big fan of the oversized box topper type cards. Uh, again, this one's a little kind of awkward. It's a cool looking card, but just kind of an awkward size. So we'll set that aside. We have, again, should have five cards in a pack, eight packs. We do in fact have eight packs. Um, nothing uh, stands out to me as any different than the others. So we're gonna get started with our 2021 Stadium Club. Now, I know that Stadium Club, personally, are some of my favorite uh, cars. I think the um, photography on these are fantastic. Um, 2020, uh, probably two of the best looking cards uh, in all of 2020 that I can think of were the, um, the Bo Bichette um, card, the Vladdy uh, Guerrero Jr. card. Um, and when you start having cards that stick out based on their, their photography, I think that's a mark of a fantastic uh, product. So uh, let's get started, see what we've got here. So we're gonna start with Gavin Lux, Brendan McKay, Brendan McKay with the bat in his hand. There's Joey Gallo. Marcel Azuna, and then <laughs> look at this, this, this is a fan, I mean, a perfect example I was talking about, just crazy hair, obviously, but just a fantastic uh, uh, photo. This is the red full variation uh, of Josh Hader, but just look at the quality of this photo. Look, look, at, look at his arm, I mean, you can see, uh, the impressions just form. You can see the muscles sticking out. Of course, obviously, uh, that uh, I would say crazy hair day, but that's pretty much every day for uh, for Josh Hader. Um, but just a ex fantastic example of of you know great photography here for Stadium Club. Uh, again, that's one of the things that I like the best about uh, Stadium Club. We'll take a look and see. Uh, we got any variations, does not look, look like it. So pack one down. Now we're gonna come to second pack. 
see what we uh, come up with here. Jose Barrios, uh, again, I mean, that is just a, it's just a fantastic looking card. Just great, great photography. Sister Hernandez, the Blue Jays. There's, her, there's Edward Oliveras. And then there is Braxton Garrett with the rookie card, rookie out of uh, Miami. Um, now, you noticed, we go back here. So that pack only had four cards. Um, if we go back to our, it says seven packs plus one extra pack. So that's eight packs, five cards per pack. Pack with a special insert may, may contain only three cards. So interested to see uh, uh, what we have here. Um, supposedly you get 41 cards. Pack one had the traditional five. That pack only had uh, four cards. Um, so I don't know, we'll see if uh, maybe that's an indication that we've got uh, something special brewing in this pack. Um, no variations. So. We'll move on to pack number three. Again, five cards. What we're expecting to see in there, that one had four. Um, there's the Carlos Santana. Great looking card. Fantastic photography. Patrick Corbin. There's the Griff. Ken Griffey Jr. That's a some fantastic photography right there. Um, I don't think we've got a, come back to that one. Looks like we got a Cattell Marte. And then here is something different. This is our Triumphrates Ozzy Albies card. So now the Triumphrates, uh, there are three cards. They'll basically make together like a puzzle piece. I don't know what the other two um, that are alongside uh, Ozzy Albies. I uh, don't know what those other two cards are, uh, but that's a uh, pretty cool little die cut card. Um, that is the Triumphrates insert. So we'll sleeve that. Uh, we'll sleeve that bad boy up. We'll check and see if uh, we've got any variations based on our numbers there. And obviously with our die cut, uh, we do have a different number, but that's a sort of a different mold. So we're not worried about that, but we are gonna stick that bad boy right there. And we're gonna go into our next pack. It's gonna be pack number four. Moving right along here. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, watching this video. Again, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share if, you, uh, if you'd like as well. There's Brandon Woodruff. Derek Jeter, look at that. That's a great looking Derek Jeter card. And there's the Jose Abreu. Michael Conforto. And of course, see Michael, but then hiding behind him is another man. And that is Mr. Mike Piazza. That's a, that's a great looking card. I wonder if that one might be a variation card. Let's see what we got here. So 244, 244, 244, 244. And then let's see if that, Let's see if this Piazza card is a variation of sort. Nope, it is not. So, but it is a good looking card. Uh, so now we're down, down to four packs. Uh, let's see what we come up with. So for my Phillies, there's a rookie card there, Raphael Marchand. He just recently got sent back down to the minors. Then there's Big Mac. Just a, 
iconic looking Mark McGuire photo. Emil Reyes. Looks like we've got Red Full, Mike Yastrzemski. And then we had one in the Absolute Blaster. Now we've got one in the Stadium Club. And that is Shohei Atani. Good looking card there. Shohei, what an incredible season he is having. Let's just check our codes here. Looks like we got a bunch of 244s. So now we're down to three packs. Uh, see what we got. We did have the Red Bull Mike Shrimsky, but so far the Ozzy Albi uh, die cut triumphant card has been the best thing that we've seen out of this pack. Um, Isaac Paredes rookie card, Tigers. Look at that, one of my all time favorites. Hitting machine, Tony Gwynn, man, that dude. Unbelievable, unbelievable hitter. Bobby uh, Dalback, that's gonna be a rookie card there. Of course, we're used to seeing those, those guys pushing the, uh, pushing the shopping cart in the dugout. Uh, this is gonna be the Clayton Kershaw. They're of course hosting the World Series Championship Trophy. And then here's the virtual reality insert, Mookie Betts. So let's just scan through real quick. See if uh, we have anything that stood out for us here. It looks like uh, no variation codes on any of those cards. And obviously there would not be on the Mickey Betts virtual reality. So we're down to two packs. And so far, Ozzy Albies stands alone as the only representative on the podium for 2021 Stadium Club. Um, so we'll see if uh, we can come up with a surprise hit in these last two packs. There's Brian Reynolds from Pirates, Denilson Lamette from Padres. I know a lot of guys that like this fella, Nick Cassianos. And Nick may be a photo variation card. We're gonna take a look at that in just a minute. And of course, there's the Javi Baez, this one in the red fall. And then how about some Dansby Swanson? Put your tongue in, Dansby. Get your hat on and put your tongue in. So let's see what we got here. 244, 244, 244, 244, and 244. So nothing brewing there. Down to our last pack, uh, Ozzy Alves stands alone at the podium against Sam Huff, Nick Madrigal, and Casey Mize. Uh, as those three guys are representing the 2021 Absolute Blaster, which so far has looked a little better uh, than the 2021 Stadium Club, although some of the, uh, some of the photos are, are pretty solid for Stadium Club. Uh, here's Mr. George Springer. Now look at that. That's that's wild. So Bob Gibson, Bob Gibson sitting in the Hall of Fame, looking at his Bob Gibson bust. Now that is a neat, neat card. Just uh, representative of some of the great photography that you see Stadium Club. Um, what about some Hideki Matsui? Then we've got the Kirby Puckett Sepia. One of my all-time favorite players, uh, Kirby Puckett. And a guy that has really been historically an icon in the hobby uh, in, in the early 80s, um, the early and mid-80s, the Kirby Puckett uh, rookie cards were some of the most sought after uh, and most valuable cards um, in, in the entire hobby. Uh, so pretty excited about getting that Kirby Puckett uh, sepia card there. 
fact, uh, I like that card enough that he'll go on the podium. And then, of course, there's Miguel Rojas. Um, another great piece of photography, uh, even if it does look like uh, he's getting ready to turn a double play against my Phillies. Looks like they've already recorded uh, an out there uh, at, at the bag. Um, but I'll uh, we'll just check these last couple for any variation numbers. I don't think we're going to see any. Um, nope. Bunch of 244s, but that's okay. Um, we are going to add Mr. Kirby Puckett sepia card to the podium. Um, he will, that will go into my PC. He will take the place of Nick Madrigal and that's it. Um, so guys, uh, take a minute to like this video, take a minute to share this video, but most importantly, take a minute to comment in the comment sections and let me know which of these products did you like the best based on today's retail rip, 2021 Absolute Baseball or 2021 Stadium Club Baseball. Once again, this is Wayne Hunt, the North Carolina sports guy, over and out.